Hello. When you want to get off the darkest ground, the gravity pulls you straight down. Earth from a bird's eye view. You should grow feathers and see this too. Guys, we have landed in Hong Kong. We're not staying in Hong Kong for too long. We're just in transit. Transit for about nine hours. So haven't been to Hong Kong for like three years. We're just gonna be in transit here for about nine hours. And then jumping back onto Cathay Pacific Plain and heading to Aotearoa, New Zealand. Haven't been back to Aotearoa, New Zealand for like three or so years. Looking forward to going back, seeing the fams and um, summertime vibes, guys. Summertime vibes. So we're going to be hitting beaches, do a little bit of diving, that kind of thing. So looking forward to uh, diving with the Fano back in Aotearoa. New Zealand now we just got to get past all the uh, medical boot BS got to put on the mask like this or whatever I mean I was using the mask in Vietnam but mainly for the purpose of pollution maybe there's pollution here <sighs> whatever just give me back home anyway I'm gonna try and vlog the um, quarantine back in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Um, so as soon as I land, I'm gonna try and start filming and then seeing how we can go with the vibes back there. She got this artwork, guys. Inside the Hong Kong airport. I am gonna have a bit of a sleep they've got tables here I can do some uh, video editing on later on good toilet there we're gonna get some breakfast later but I'm gonna have a bit of a sleep over here guys so I shall see you guys very very soon so you've got a guy here manning the toilet another guy down there manning the toilet only staff are allowed in the toilets here in Hong Kong Airport. What the hell? I went to like five or six and they say, no, 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 no. I'm going, okay, so where do you go to do your business? Pathetic. What the hell's going on? The other thing too is there's like 20 or so restaurants and shops and stuff. But the thing is, is that uh, they're all closed. So maybe it's because of the, um, the variant, the, what is it? The Megatron um, I have no idea and I asked one of the information um, kiosks uh, where I could get food from they said oh there's one bakery that's like all the way up there which is like probably a 200 meter 300 meter walk I mean this airport is huge guys this airport is huge so they're manning toilets and only staff are allowed in there so I've walked around this airport for like 30 or 40 minutes and it seems these are the only food places open. Some little bakery here. Duty free place. Oh yeah, obviously the duty free. What's up robot? And uh, another duty free.
I think I'm gonna have some noodles, guys. Noodles. Hong Kong noodles. We've got the seafood ones. All right, let's grab that for lunch. So we managed to grab some food. Got some noodles and uh, some uh, potato chips. But I just realized it's time to head to the the gate. We're going to be boarding in about 10 minutes. So let's head there. Hopefully we can eat and find the damn toilet that's open. All these toilets are closed. I think they've made toilets specific to staff and some specific to passengers because they don't want to get the the Megatron the Optimus Prime Tron <laughs> so it looks like I can't eat the food that I just bought running a little late for boarding boarding's now now in session so I'll head to the plane uh, and then we'll eat something on the plane I've been fasting a bit so getting used to the fast I haven't eaten for I think about 16 hours now but um, still feel good I think I'm in the back so it's this way I always like getting a seat behind the wing that way you can see like horizons and stuff with the with the wing good morning Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Sorry. This way. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your offering. I don't think we're going to have many people in this flight. Look at that, guys. We are the only ones, I think, in this area of the plane. Check out that. And um, just out there, you can see another plane and my wido is telling me that that's a Fiji looking design it's the Fiji design right there so that's got to be Fiji Airlines correct me if I'm wrong beautiful day though out there Hong Kong been here two times this is the third time but I don't think this counts because we're just in transit but Hong Kong is um, not bad the people are really nice uh, the city itself is actually quite different to me. It's kind of like a large version of penitentiary, man. I mean, if you've never been to Hong Kong, you'll see all the buildings, man. They're just high-rise buildings with all these, like, apartments that look like prison rooms. Anyway, if you've never been there, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm heading back to Aotearoa. New Tarini, New Zealand. So looking forward to getting back there and um, firstly catching up with the fans, the Fano. I haven't seen the Fano for like three years, so it's been a while. Um, and then my friends catching up with them and then uh, rejuvenating, I would say detoxing in the nature vibes as well. I'm looking forward to doing some um, Kaimoana seafood diving diving for kina which is sea urchin power which is abalone and i um, really looking forward to uh, getting back to the summer vibes right now it's summer there uh, they're heading i think 25 degrees so i'm timing it quite well to go back there as i said it's all part of the wairua journey i had that journey to head back to aotearoa new Tarini, new zealand so that's what i'm doing if you haven't seen my previous video you'll understand what i'm talking about check it out if you haven't it talks about why i left vietnam and it'll give you some insight to what i'm doing now and where i'm going to go soon um, in the next few vlogs as well and i've got a lot of really good things coming up guys projects that i'm going to be working on um, getting back into the nature vibes as i said meditating doing some um 
diving with nature, exploration around Aotearoa, New Zealand, and vlogging that as well. So um, it's silly that we have to put the mask on like that. And there's hardly anyone around, you know what I mean? Um, and then the thing I really wanted to also tell you guys is the projects that are coming up that I'm going to be involved in surrounds the key word, now get this, key word awakening, okay? That's the key word and um, that's what I'm going to be doing. Working around those projects, around that key word awakening. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyway guys, I bought some sneaky chips that I'm going to dive into before the main meal soon. Feel a little bit hungry. But all in all, I'm really looking forward to heading back to Aotearoa, to the whanau, and to the fams, and the nature vibes, Papa Tuanuku, Mother Earth. Let's get it.